Um, I'm coming to you with a question that's similar to one that I brought to you about a month ago and um, when we did a session. And, and it's, a, it's something I'm working on. And it's also, um, well, I'll just go, I'll just stay with that right now. And that is um, a struggle that I'm having um, with um, allowing others to have their own experience, particularly a very good friend of mine. So I feel like there's a lot of sort of projection happening on my, on my end, you know, um, not liking the way this person is dealing with what's going on in the world and why aren't we on the same page and how concerning, and I'm focusing it all on this one person. And I've been doing a lot of work on it with, with your help and with just my kind of like attention on it. But yes. what my question, so my, or maybe I don't even know exactly what the question is. And uh, it, it has to do with my own struggle. And I'm wondering if this is me keeping a story alive, a judgment I have about myself about still having judgments out there or struggles mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if there's a depth within me that I'm not wanting to access something in there that I just am like, no, that can't still be there. Can it, you know? So is it, does any of that make sense? Mm. And is it an either or Brenda? If, if I am, I'm going to use very judgmental terminology now to overemphasize this, really emphasize this. If I am at the level of projecting, then I can't be as spiritual as I thought I was or would like to be. Is it an either or? No, no, it's not. Okay, good. But there is some level of discomfort with it, but I do, when I really feel into it, it's like, no, of course, like, my beingness doesn't get affected actually by that or my awareness of that doesn't get affected by the judgment to an extent where I fall out of it. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. It's, and, and is the, the judgment of Brenda part, gosh, I'm still doing that and I don't like it in that strain of self-reflection this is how I'm doing does that stop you does what does what's the consequence of that in how you understand being awake what it what it uh, sort of feels like is that I I do still have a concept about what it is to be awake right so I there's something still hanging on around some expectation of what this, what it would look like or what it is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think so because it, it sounds like that projection shouldn't be happening. And it's like, really, really says who, where, 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 where's the authority on that? Yeah. 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 There seems to be something and it feels kind of foreign in a way. It feels like I'm, putting it on myself or it's being put on, like it doesn't feel natural to hang out in that place of thinking that something's wrong instead of it just being, but so it's good to hear you say that. So what other ideas are running around what awakening looks like? I feel that there's, um, that I, well, that it should be, just completely peaceful. I think there's some belief that there would just be full on abiding peace. Nothing will really bother me. I think there's somehow an idea about that, that there will never be a, you know, uh, something that can disturb the peaceful water. Perhaps there's, yeah. I mean, not perhaps, and I think there is an idea that that's True. Yeah, and the peaceful water as the human being, because you said earlier, my beingness isn't touched by this at all. That's very clear. Yeah. So it's my human experience of my beingness. Yeah. That should be a certain way then. 
Yeah, like the, the, my manifest reality should be all peaceful. Like this, this body, this mm -hmm. mind, the mind should be completely tranquil. Yeah, so it's definitely the human experience that I'm looking for that to be in line with the actual beingness. I want it all to be just peaceful. Mm. I want it to be peaceful. <laughs> yes, there you go. You beat me to it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, yes. And it, it's so ooh, it's uncomfortable to be trying to get that. That's but, right. But and it's also kind of a denial of the fluidity of, of human experience and expression. And it denies us the opportunity to see blind spots, which often come through some kind of discomfort. So it cuts off growth, human growth. If, if we, we're going to be in peace and tranquility all the time, there, there is no finding a new edge. It cuts off deeper recognition, your ability to evolve into a wise elder on a human level that can be informed by the realizations that have come through. Yeah, that it's really- a, There's a shutdown of the humanness. If we're saying, well, you can't really do that anymore because this is how you should feel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I needed to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Because I think I'm doing it anyway like i'm going into those dark corners i mean i think i need to be yeah. even more courageous and Ta -da! yeah um but at the same time i there's a denial while i know i'm i should i i am doing it i should be doing it but yeah so just to be reminded of that it's really <laughs> so the layer that's on top of what's happening because mm -hmm. what's happening as well there's a lot of projection there all right can that be there without the controller, without the ideas of how it should be, without attachment to what awakening looks like. It's like it's these layers on top of what's happening is what's that's where the discomfort come from comes from. Yes. Projection can happen. Yeah. Leave it bald, naked. It's a happening. And it's like, oh okay, projection can happen. All right. So so what what's that teaching me about some pattern in my own thinking? What's that? What's is there something in there? Now, if it's simply projection is happening and I'm saying yes, because the experience is happening now and I want to see if there's something in it, or maybe my personality just has some friggin' habit of projecting. It does this and I'm going to hold it and love it and make sure that there's minimal damage, you know? Yeah. You know, let my footprint be lighter on the world, but there's no blame. There, like I, this is, this is how, this is how it works for me. Yeah. No, we have we have mm, this going in the direction that I'm just talking about right now is about not misusing your own power, you know, not going. So therefore, it doesn't matter. Like, just watch where it goes into bypass, where we where we deny the, the potency of the energy of projection. You know, it's like, OK, I'm taking full responsibility for this projection. I'm going to be an adult about it and not just vomit all over the other person. I need to take responsibility for it. Right. This is what's happening in this form right now. Yeah. Might be fine. Or there might be a, a habit that wants to break. But yeah. I'm not judging it because if the universe is all right with it, really, my controller doesn't have any comment here. Yeah. yeah. Right. This is what's happening. And I'm with it and I'm saying yes. Yes. Sometimes the very thing that keeps a projection alive is the layered up system of comments that it should not be so. Very often that's what perpetuates it. The layers. The layers of it should not be so. Yeah. And so if we bring in total acceptance of it, it has to come with, with a personal responsibility. You know, of like, all right, I just need to not vomit this projection out. I need to take responsibility for this pattern. So that if you, if that part of your personality remains, that it's held, it, it's held. And that there's no denial, there's no judgment of it. So what's the option? It's going to be held within part of your beingness. 
And then there's this, a softness around that of where you, you take responsibility for it. You, you, and that means, is there a, is there a growth spurt? Is, is that pattern wanting to break? Am I done with it yet? Is it spinning itself out? Maybe it always wants to be here. No, you're, you're, you're really listening. Now you're really listening. Yeah. That's where you'll find your answer. That level of listening to the pattern, you know, while you're holding it totally within, within yourself with love, do you know? And from there you'll see, you'll see, does this want to spin out? Does this, is this, is this, is yeah. this, this is actually fine. I mean, it's totally fine. It's here. Of course it's fine. It's here. That yeah. And I totally get that. And I feel like in many ways, that's what, ha what's happening. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but these words are helping <laughs> very yeah. much. Yeah. And, and I realized too, that I was, looking for some kind of relief from that looking you know by coming here today oh, oh i'm gonna ask jack that i'll feel better once i talk to jack you know because i'm coming up against something pretty sticky like something big and be, being okay with actually looking for a bit of relief and guidance is good too like not to yes. add yes. another layer of yes oh and why are you still needing to yeah yes <laughs> go to, to get yeah, so you're sifting through what what wants to happen and the overlay of of the you know the the controller who 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 wants to manage this. There's two different layers there. So so let the organic what wants to happen unfold while you're taking responsibility for yourself, you know? I'm I'm just guarding against bypass here. More for other people. I know it's not your gig, but so so can I feel into like what wants to happen now is yeah there wants I want relief from this I want relief from this I want this pattern to break okay I'm going to hold that desire too all right let that there too right so that's the layer of what's to be allowed not to waste any energy at all in the total distraction of commenting on whether what's happening is okay or not I want you to slice in between those two layers yeah, that, yeah, great. Yeah, I really got that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. I like the image, the slicing between the layers, that really. Yeah, yeah, there's, and, and that's very subtle. Sometimes it's really subtle and sometimes it's in your face. Yeah. You know, it's like, what? Because the mind will say, you know, well, what wants to happen is feeling bad about this. It's like, okay, can we get a little bit more sophisticated in your perception here? You know, what wants to happen is me judging myself that this isn't okay. It's like, actually, no, no, that part is, is an unmanaged uh, uh, mind. That's unmanaged attention. Now you're self-referencing about it and finding a problem with it. Very subtle there, huh? Because the same concept, the same concept um, can try to fudge the line between what authentically wants to happen, which is in a very subtle, nuanced, it's kind of the flow of what is. You're internal when you're sensing that. You're internal. Yeah. And then to feel the shift when, no, I'm self-referencing about it now, actually. That's the layer that's superimposed, that's bullshit. That's, that's the bullshit layer. Oh. Yeah. So there's a subtle, nuanced um, sense of what wants to happen here, what wants to happen here, what wants to happen here. And don't you self-referencing as a, oh, that wants to happen too. It's like, no, 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 no. Come on, upgrade from there. Upgrade. Huh. Right. So the self-referencing part, I can disregard, not, not disregard it, but well, maybe disregard it and keep going. Yeah, into don't feed it. Don't feed yeah. it and go, I see you. I see you. That's 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 yeah. me hurting me. OK, that that's not of use here at all. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. Subtle. Oh. Subtle. Yeah. Subtle. And another way to say it, I'm just kind of spreading this out to the group. Another way to say it is that like, 
when I'm within and I'm looking at my, you know, an uncomfortable, icky, sticky piece of suffering, you know, if I'm looking at a piece of uncomfortableness in my personality, can I learn how to see that from observer, from I am, from the stillness? Really see it from there and let it be from there so that it becomes glaringly obvious when a me, myself, I story is using it. And especially those of us who've done a lot of psychotherapy, we're trained to have the me, myself, I look at what's sticky. Mm. And the shift that needs to happen is have your beingness look at what's sticky. Yeah. When the me, myself, I looks at what's sticky, well, now we're in the dualistic mode. It's right, it's wrong, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be because of this. Yeah. So the lens of perception in viewing the stickiness needs to shift in total awareness of like, yeah, that's the me, myself, I viewing it. Okay, how does my beingness viewing it without bypassing? Yeah. There's a maturity in that, you know? Yeah. How does the beingness look at, look at it without copping out in any way? So yes, it means taking full responsibility yeah. without that personal responsibility creating ownership in the dualistic way without it making a me story you see yeah 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 that's, yeah. that's good <laughs> yeah thank you yeah you're welcome